What's up guys, this is a guide on how to train a Dagonoth. To train there you will need to be members and you also have to have the quest Horror from the Deep completed. Um, Horror from the Deep is short and easy so it shouldn't take too long and it can be started at the lighthouse which is located north of the Barbarian Outpost. So once that's done, uh, get ready. So for your equipment you're going to want to bring well, you can bring melee, range, or magic, but melee is the mostly used um, uh, armor there, so I'm bringing that. I have full bandos, uh, dragon fire shield, a whip, dragon boots, uh, rune gauntlets, which can be replaced with any gloves, uh, obsidian cape, which can be replaced with any kind of cape, uh, amulet of strength, and the helm of Nietisnot, or however the fuck they pronounce that. Um, it can be replaced with uh, rune, fighter torso, uh, dragon armor, basically anything that's medium class to high class um, armor. Um, once you have that in your inventory, you are going to want to set up a Varrock teleport tab, a games necklace, a shitload of food, so I suggest buying tuna, shark, lobster, manta ray, anything that will heal a lot, and about 50k. Um, fill up your inventory with tuna except for one slot which you should fill up with all of the rest of your food in notes. Um, the money and noted food will come in handy because um, where we're going to train is a general store and uh, you can trade in the fish and then buy it back for a small price which is very effective if you are power training. Um, you can replace your inventory with um, bones to peaches tabs so pick up their bones and uh, make uh, peaches out of it for food, or you can use the guthans to heal yourself. Um, the levels suggested for this are 75 attack, strength, defense, and uh, constitution, or hit points, so I like to say it still. Um, so once you are ready, just uh, use your games necklace and teleport to the barbarian outpost. Once you get there, you are going to want to run north from there, and there are going to be a whole lot of rocks there. Um, when you're jumping over these rocks to get to the other side, you may fall, depending on your agility level. Um, I tend to fall, I don't know, up to 15 times is my record. Uh, every time you fall, you uh, do lose some HP. Um, I don't know. You, it'll it waste up some of your food, but that doesn't really matter. So just try and get yourself across. It will get frustrating if you fall 15 to 20 times. Um, my agility level is 40 only, so this may take a while. Finally, alright, so I just got across, um, from here on you shouldn't, well you're not supposed to fall at all, so just get yourself all the way across to the, uh, to the land, um, once you are there, right now, head north until you hit the lighthouse which is where you start the quest of horror from the deep, and enter the lighthouse. Go downstairs to the basement, and that's where the Dagonos will be located. Then you gotta head through this strange wall, as they call it. And then downstairs, one more uh, flight of ladders, and we're here. Um, Dagonos tends to be somewhat populated. Uh, here, there are only three people, so that, four people, sorry. Ah, that's somewhat populated. So just try and find a world where there's little people in this area and start fighting Dagonoths. Um, they are level 74 and 92. Uh, the 70, level 74s barely do shit, but uh, the level 92s can hit up to 100. Um, so you, there's pretty, you can pretty much go AFK. Well, not AFK, but like uh, you can watch I don't know videos and do other shit while you're doing this. So. You don't really need to pay attention to it too much. 
So, um, Dagonoths also tend to drop a shitload of, uh, charms, mostly crimson and a lot of gold. Um, they also drop somewhat rare, well not really rare, but good items, so at the end of this video I will show a list of what you should, uh, pick up or leave on the ground. Um, so yeah, uh, one of my inventories of food with my armor. I can last here, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes max uh, until I have to use the general store method. So uh, once I run out of food, I'll come back to this video showing you the process of doing that. If you have Guthans, just use your Guthans. If you have Bones to Peaches, no worries about the general store method. So um, if you're using those two other methods, just skip to the end uh, on the screen. Uh, it'll show you where to find the extra info so you don't have to watch this entire video so skip to there if you're using the two other methods if you want to use my method um, just watch the entire video until the end so I'll see you guys soon alright hey guys I am finally out of food um, in that one inventory of food I think I made about 70k I think um, I got 12 gold charms, 4 green charms, and 2 crimson charms. So, it's not just a good training spot, it's somewhat of a good uh, money making spot. So, 70k in one inventory, which is not bad at all. Um, so now I'm just going to show you the process of uh, getting your food unnoted from the general store. So, you're going to want to go back upstairs to the lighthouse and just keep going up the flight of stairs until you get to the general store which is on the second floor. So here you're going to trade Jossic or Yossic um, and you are going to sell him let's say 32 knock. See and now you can buy them for 120 GP back which is not bad. So there we go. That's all I need. And that's pretty much the process of getting your food unnoted. Um, so that pretty much concludes the guide. Um, I think I explained everything, and at the end of this video, I will post extra information that uh, you should know, like what to pick up and what not to, and just extra bits of information. So. Um, Please subscribe, comment, and like or dislike.